नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर प्रशांत अगरवाल ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन एट अकोल हॉस्पिटल नवी मुंबई आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एल्बो पेन एज यू आर अवेयर एल्बो जॉइंट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट जॉइंट एंड इट इज फॉर्म बाय लोअर एंड ऑफ ह्यूमरस अपर एंड ऑफ अल्ला एंड रेडियस इट इज अंज टाइप ऑफ जॉइंट विच हेल्प अस इन डूइंग लॉड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज लाइक स्पोर्ट्स टेनिस गोल्फ and shaking hands all these things are possible because of the elbow joint patient presents to us in the opd with pain at elbow swelling at elbow stiffness at elbow when this patient presents we take a thorough clinical examination we take a history and we come to a conclusion or diagnosis and then plan the treatment usually when there is a history of trauma we call injury <clears throat> these patients may have some sprain or strain or some fracture sometimes they may have a dislocation or subluxation commonest if a cause of elbow pain in children is a pulled elbow where there is subluxation of radial head from the annular ligament which keeps the radial head in position and these patients they come to emergency department with pain swelling inability to move the left upper limb or right upper limb and after doing clinical examination we reduce this subluxated radial head by doing various maneuvers and patient immediately gets relief from the pain and symptom another reason for presentation may be fractures around the elbow where patient can have fracture at lower end of humerus or upper end of ulna or a radius in that case once we see this patient we subject them to x ray and sometimes ct scan and accordingly we plan with the conservative of surgical approach based on the anatomy of a fracture another group of patient which presents with some infection like inflammatory condition where there is some bursitis they have common swelling on the back of the elbow and it's filled with a fluid and this swelling is fluctuating sometimes there may be abscess or a simple bursal inflammation so these patients when they present we do clinical examination and sometimes we need to do more imaging like ultrasound to see the fluid inside the bursa or inside the joint or sometimes do mri for a more clinical information once we establish a diagnosis of infection then sometimes we have to take these patients for operation where we remove the abscess or we drain the inf- inflammatory bursa and this patient gets relief post operatively they, they these patient needs antibiotics and anti inflammatory medication another group of patient which present in the opd with conditions like tennis elbow or we call golfer elbow in tennis elbow pain is on the lateral or outer side of the elbow and usually these patients will have pain stiffness at the elbow and sometimes they have a difficulty in gripping the object whenever they tries to grip or they try to hold the object they get pain usually these patients they give history of some sports activity or or some repetitive activity by elbow like golfers elbow which presents with the pain on the inner side or medial side of the elbow that is because of the strenuous involvement or injury to the flexor group of muscles which are attached to the medial side of the elbow repeated wrist activities like continuous hammering or playing golf can give rise to this type of presentation another important group of patient which presents like with elbow pain may be having a rheumatoid arthritis or some degenerative arthritis in the elbow or some inflammatory arthritis where zero negative and zero positive arthritis these patients will have a typical presentation of polyarticular or monoarticular arthritis where they have a morning stiffness pain in multiple joints and these patients need some clinical hematological investigations and once a diagnosis is established then they need a treatment sometimes destruction is more than they need a surgical intervention 
where we have to subject these patients for a total elbow replacement where part of elbow is replaced with the metal joint and a teflon joint. Another important group of patients which presents with some entrapment neuropathies like there are important nerves which are in vicinity of elbow like ulnar nerve is on the inner side where there is an entrapment of nerve we call cubital tunnel syndrome where patient presents with pain on the medial side or on the inner side of the forearm or the hand with weakness in the ulnar distribution or sometimes there is entrapment of radial nerve on the lateral side of the elbow where these patients present with pain and yes, radiation on the lateral side or outer side with some weakness on the dorsiflexion of the wrist. So overall we have to do thorough clinical examination, we have to come to a conclusion and diagnosis. Sometimes we have to do imaging like x-rays, sonography, MRI or CT scan to get more information and to support our diagnosis. Once diagnosis is established, we have to subject these patients for medical line of treatment where we prescribe them some drugs like NSAIDs and some anti-inflammatory medications. Sometimes we have to subject this patient for extensive physiotherapy where, where we plan rehabilitation. By doing physiotherapy, these patients can strengthen the muscle, they can improve the range of movement and they can get a better function and relief from the symptom. Thank you very much.